hello guys how are you welcome to another video it's goody uh, so uh, today we want to do um, another penetration test and uh, this time uh, we are going to talk about ethernet blue and uh, vulnerability which is in smb version one so as always we have a, a uh attacker machine and also a victim machine so this time i'm using try uh, try hack me platform for the vulnerable machine but of course you can use other platforms or you can use uh, uh, other vulnerable images but the try to hack me platform is really easy to use and everything is provided and just uh, ready to go for us so uh this is my attacker machine so now the first thing which i want to do is i want to scan the target so let's talk about this uh, command a little bit in detail so first of all we are using nmap and this uh, and this uh, dash a is the aggressive one so it means it's going to uh, extract as much as exact information as much as possible and after that we are saying sv which is a service version so we want to see uh, again more details about the versions and of the uh, of different services on the victim machine and also the most important thing here is this one so script one so this one uh, is using uh, scripts to try to find the vulnerabilities also in the system so usually uh, i don't want to say usually but maybe you haven't used the scripts on nmap so because as we know uh, usually we use just for port scanning and just scanning uh, service scanning port scanning different type of scans uh, we use nmap but also it's possible to run some automated scripts here in the background and then nmap sh will show you the results so here script one it's uh, we are using the vulnerability uh, scanner scripts so it shows us the vulnerabilities and uh, dash p dash 1000 it means we are going to check the first uh, 1000 port and also at the end uh, we have the target ip so now uh, let's scan it so probably it takes a little bit uh, of time and when it's done uh, i will be back yeah the scan is done and uh, yeah now we are uh, we want to see so uh, the result as you see here it is showing uh, yeah these three ports are open so and there are these three different services running on them and uh, after that you can see so more information more detailed information actually and then also here we can see uh, the script results so let's have a look here so it was looking uh, for SMB, uh, I mean uh, SMB service or protocol actually. Uh, so it found that there is, uh, uh, you know, different uh, things about this protocol here. So, but at the end it found, okay, SMB, uh, this one, SMB wall MS17010. So it is saying this one is vulnerable and uh, here we can see okay it's saying okay remote code execution vulnerability in microsoft smb version one and status state uh, vulnerable and this is a uh, uh, scoring system and also cv so you can uh, read uh, more about the vulnerability using the cv and also risk factor is high because it's saying the critical remote code execution vulnerability exists in Microsoft SMB version 1. So, and now uh, we are going to uh, exploit this. And also here you can uh, see more links. So if you haven't uh, used the, uh, uh, if you haven't used the script one, so we wouldn't have this result. So it would be, a little bit different uh, but 
so it can be uh, you know as a homework as uh, something extra for you to do so it won't if it wouldn't show us something like this and it wouldn't tell us okay so this is the vulnerability and this is the you know description about that so it was it you uh, it would show that okay there is smb service um for example yeah this is the name or you know more information about the service itself it wouldn't say that this is vulnerable or something like that and uh, yeah here uh, so we saw okay now we can use this vulnerability to exploit the system and the thing is that uh, let's go to exploit it uh, and okay for this one i want to use a uh, meta exploit so we are you going to use meta exploit to exploit this so because meta exploit is really really powerful you know everything is provided for you so you can just uh, use them and uh, it has a lot of feature you know so it's a bunch of features facilities equipments and tools that help you and uh, you know it, it facilitates or it is everything for you and uh, yeah now we see we have that okay so the first thing in uh, meta exploit we want to see we can say search smb version one so because we want to say okay what do you have about smb version one and it shows there are two uh exploit here so ethernal blue and smb uh, R R A S. but here you can see we want to use this because it's exactly what we want so here you can see and now exactly we have it here so we are going to say okay use uh, zero so it means okay take that one and uh, now we are in that environment so windows smb so i mean we are you're using that exploit so let's see what options we have here so we say show options here and then we are going to see so this is the module option and this is the payload option so this is if you want to set the payload okay use this or here if we want to mm, configure for example our host or whatever so here as you see the most important thing is that we should care about this yes yes no no yes yes so it means uh, this parameter which is our host is required so this is the target that we want to attack so in this case uh, we are going to insert the ip the second part is our port so target port we don't need it it already had it mm, i mean we don't need to set it and this is optional this is optional this is optional and these two also variables are yes so for example the first one check if a remote architecture match exploit target and it's true and also if remote os match exploit target so you know for example it's written in it's just windows 7 or server 2008 uh, you know different uh, versions which we already uh, uh, saw here as well and uh, okay if maybe i can see here and yeah you can see here uh yeah here so it's showing it's microsoft windows 7 and uh, yeah so it's applicable for us but besides that it also showed us it is possible for that uh, but so yeah the, because the uh, this is this is why we are using vulnerable uh, vulnerable scripts for net and map so it is already telling us okay so and uh, one more thing i want to see the ip address of the target so let me just copy that copy that and now we have it here so we are going to say set our host and now it already set so if again we say show options it should be here yeah you can see it is here and also we are going to say uh, okay use also this payload so set payload and let me also copy paste this payload okay and now we see 
here you can see again options and now we have set that here we say okay payload yeah windows uh, whatever so and then now i think we are ready to go so here when you set the payload set the uh, options here so either you can say run or you can say exploit so let's say uh, let's see what will happen here so Metasploit is starting to work on that it starts to make a connection to establish a connection there and uh, use the payload and malware to you know give us a reverse shell so now you can see it is win so metapreter session one open so now we want to see pwd so personal working directory and it's showing it's windows a very windows uh, system 2 system 32 we want to see what we have there so uh, Mm -hmm. yeah for example this is showing the directory is there and also uh you know if we want to go a little bit there so now where are we so we are in c lsh and yeah for example here but this is a flag because it's a try hack me machine and also let's say okay what we have in user and here yeah John user, old user, and probably, yeah, we can dig more, but uh, that's, we don't need to actually go that much detail, just we wanted to see. Okay, just let me, now I'm really ready. Okay. Mm hmm. yeah so yeah that's uh how we exploit a system and uh, we penetrate to a system so now we have access there and as you see uh we can uh, yeah see the system and also get uid here yeah so server per username and yeah so it's work like this so we could try first scan the service and then find the vulnerability and then exploit that vulnerability using metasploit framework and now we have access to the system so i hope you enjoyed this video so actually it was a re real life real world scenario so we saw everything how we uh, we, uh, we could uh, um, start and uh, continue this procedure until we get the, the command uh, uh, control or we get the reverse sh uh, shell for that system i hope you've enjoyed and uh, yeah see you